All right, y'all, so I had to put some little lip color on real quick. Real quick before we get started on this little video. As always, you guys know, thank you. I really appreciate each and every one of you little couple people that tune in to see my video. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe. Okay, um, for all the fun things, it's free to do that. And also make sure you check me out on my social media page so we can stay connected, honey, okay? <laughs> so anyway, let's get into this video, y'all, so I can get you guys updated on what's been going on with me in this PRN gig, y'all. So just continue watching. So if you follow me on social media, then you already know that I started a PRN position for a psych facility and I started this position, it was probably October, maybe time is flying. I don't, I don't remember, but I think it was October y'all and it's December right now. So, and I was trying to confirm real quick, but I believe that's just, that's how long it's been. Let me confirm. Hang tight, let me see. Yeah, Hello? yeah, it was in October. So um, for a psych facility, if you're not built for psych, you already know psych is not for you. However, comma, I actually like psych. Um, working in the ER, we have psych patients. People already know, put me in zone, put me in the zone where I need to be, okay, to get my psych patients. And I will also be going back to school for Psych NP, so y'all stay tuned for that. I'll let you guys know which school I am deciding on and follow along with me on that journey as I become a Psych NP. Hopefully, I will also be able to do um, Family NP as well and do like a combo, so I won't just be limited to Psych, but Psych is what I like to do, so we shall see. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Now, at this psych facility, um, they have, I came in right when there was a lot of changes going on with management. So that wasn't good already because you don't know who to talk to. I don't even think I officially met who my supervisor was or manager. I've never talked to them. I don't know who they are. Okay. Um, and then I believe, I don't even know, somebody left, somebody took somebody place, I don't know. I was told that I was supposed to have a certain amount of training days. And then when a new person took over, they were like, no, you're only supposed to have um, six days or something, I don't remember what it was. Now, mind you, out of the six days that I did train, I was only really trained two days. One day, the nurse didn't even talk to me. She was training somebody else, and that nurse was trying to tell me what to do, which I was just doing what I did the day prior, which was nothing but doing my assessments and getting them charted. After that, there was nothing else for me to do. Um, however, it was a pretty easy job. Um, doesn't take that long to learn how to do your job. I mean, if you understand the paperwork, understand... Um, how to or what's required of you when it comes to the paperwork. Let's say if you got someone that's being discharged or admitted, um, things of that nature. So if you got that down pat, then you pretty much know what you got to do and you should be good. Um, what I ended up doing so far, I haven't been on my own yet back to the facility. And I think it's a combination of me thinking like, damn, am I really ready to be on my own? Like, I barely got trained. And we know we're supposed to open our mouths and let them know, hey, I'm not ready. I need more training, which I will do, okay? Um, I do plan on doing that. Um, but I also feel like if I need to cover a shift, I could do that no problem. I'm pretty sure there will be people there that I can ask questions to if I have questions. Um but I haven't been back, y'all. Y'all know, if you follow me on social media, I was saying, I don't know if I'm going to come back. I don't know if I'm going to come back. Yada, yada. Well, I haven't went back, okay? But I'm still an employee because they still text me to see if I want to pick up a shift or not. Now, even though it's more money than um, my full-time position, I ended up taking a position that's like seven on, seven off, where I currently work. 
And on my seven off, I do two additional shifts, which includes like an incentive pay on top of my regular pay. So now I'm making more money than what I would have been doing picking up at the PRM position, if that makes sense. Um, and then when I'm doing my seven on and seven off, I only work from seven to three or three thirty Monday through Friday, and then two twelves on a weekend, which isn't bad because some people work Monday through Friday from eight to four thirty, eight to five, and that's every single week. So if I'm just doing seven to three Monday through Friday, and then two twelves on a weekend, if I want it to be off and be broke, because that's what I will be, I will be broke, no money. Hello, if I took off. Um, a full week or two if I work two weeks out the month off two weeks out the month that ain't enough money for me so I had to pick up the two additional shifts on my week off in order to really make some money and it's sad that we have to do that you know like work so hard work extra just to make money but when you gotta do what you gotta do you gotta do what you gotta do right um, so I figured why go to the PRN when I can just do two at my main facility and make way more money. So that's where I'm at right now. I still have five days out of that week that I still could pick up, which I probably will because sometimes I'm not really doing anything. So um, it won't hurt for me to go, you know, twice a week on my week off or um, something along that those lines. But I also want to not work myself to the bone either, y'all. So sometimes you just got to take a break, take a breather, not let it be all about the money and necessary. And it's not necessarily all about the money for me either. Like, I think I need to really um, start budgeting more because I have not budgeted all year. And um, some things happen unexpectedly for me, unfortunately, this year where I had to put out a whole lot more money than what I wanted to do and that I planned on doing. So it's like, you know, I got to pick up the pieces. I got to refocus going forward and make sure that, um, you know, I'm saving to be able to, you know, cover myself in case of an emergency when I can't be working all these shifts and I want to take a break. So that's what I'm aiming towards right now. Um, but if you you know, or in a position where you can do a PRN position because I do know another nurse, she's only working like PRN positions right now until um, the traveling contracts go back up is what she told me. I think she's working at three different facilities, PRN. And um, you have like a, a flexibility that you just can't explain, like can't explain it if you could just do PRN. I know another thing that um, a lot of people are trying to look into around me now is the internal contracts because I've been looking at those myself. I'm also um, talking to some traveling recruiters um, to figure out what my options are because right now, even though I'm working seven on, seven off, not even seven off because I'm still working two days that week, I can probably make what I'm making in those two weeks in one week, only making three days is my goal. So, or working three days. So if I can work three days a week and get what I'm getting in two weeks, then it's worth it for me, especially if it's not too far away from home and I can commute. If it's about, um, one of the recruiters that I'm talking to, they told me, um, that I will have to be at least 50 miles away. And there are some facilities that's 50 miles away or more from me that I can easily drive and um, come back home. So we shall see. I will definitely keep you guys posted on that. If you know of any, um, well, I don't know, because I, I hate to overload myself sometimes with information, knowing good and well, I'm not about to jump on nothing just yet, but I am working on it slowly but steady. Um, but yeah, but if you have any tips, tricks, any suggestions or anything that you would like to share, definitely comment them in the comment section. Um, also, follow me on social media. That way you guys can kind of stay posted on what I got going on. But I think I'm going to keep YouTube posted more along the lines of um, what I have going on for my NP school session, which I was even thinking, like, do I really feel like going back to school like all the drama all the stress really stress 
nursing school was a little bit drama though like i'm too fucking grown sorry y'all but we got cut off in the mix somewhere up in there but um pretty much what you guys should take from this video is know that me and prn right now isn't getting along because of my um full-time position that i have and i'm doing seven on seven off and picked up two days on my seven off that's gonna make me more money um now once that falls off then your girl gotta come up with a plan b honey because we um we gotta we got stuff that we gotta do we got we got bills that we gotta pay we got big girl bills honey so um as long as that's going okay i should be okay for now um but um that's what I'm doing. I do want to go back to the PRN position. I am going to go pick up a shift. I'll let you guys know how that go. If I'm by myself or if I'm shadowing. Um, I'm also looking into picking up a travel assignment. I'm working with a recruiter on that. I'm also looking into my options for um, internal contracts. That's not too far away from me. Because your girl got to make some money, honey, without working hard. I'm getting, I'm older. I'm older, honey. We ain't no spring chicken. Um, but yeah, so if you guys have any questions for me, don't hesitate to ask. I'll answer whatever I can. If I don't know the answer, girl, guess what? Girl or guy, I'll go see if I can get the answer for you because I know plenty of people, honey, plenty of people that I can get my questions answered, you know, depending on what the question is. Okay. But um, thank you guys for listening to me chatter. Um, make sure you subscribe make sure you check out my other little pages y'all we're gonna have a good time for 2024 that's just all we gonna do have a good time because guess what yo low y'all know what that means if you don't you only live once so we ain't stressing we ain't depressing we ain't crying we gonna we gonna get over all the dramas for 2024 y'all whatever you may be going through keep your head up stay positive stay motivated stay blessed stay prayed up when you talk to god he gonna make things happen for you honey and if you're a virgo like me y'all already know he don't play about us <laughs> god don't play about us but anyway y'all thank you for watching y'all have a good one